What's up, JK Shinners? So we are here in Lisbon, Portugal, exploring the Barrio Alto right now. Three, two, one, and JK Shinners. All I ever wanted. JK Shinners. How do we eat a fish? All right, vacationers, we made it over here to Brussels Airport. We're flying over to Lisbon, Portugal, to meet up with a couple of homies, a couple travel vlogger friends. So maybe if you guys are subscribed to me, you might know them because you've seen them in a past video or two before. So I'm excited to see them. I'll tell you when I get there. We're safe and sound, just chilling, and on our way to Lisbon from Brussels. This is my fourth trip to Lisbon and is definitely in my top five favorite cities in all of Europe. Depending on your flight path in, you may be treated to an amazing view of Christ the King statue and the Pont 25 de Abril Bridge, which is the sister bridge of the Golden Gate Bridge in California. Alright guys, just made it to Portugal. What's going on Lisbon? We're back. Alright educationers, so we just dropped my bags, no problem. I got the Aerobus from the airport, very easy. It's just like Barcelona. It's only four euro one way, so we're going to the center of Lisbon. To answer a question I've seen many times in previous Jaycation Lisbon videos, viewers have asked the best way to get into the city center. The answer is the Aerobus by far because it's a straight shot from the airport which is only a few minutes away from the city. Within 10 to 15 minutes, you will have arrived. Got off the number nine stop on the Aerobus. Gotta go find my Airbnb now. After a long travel day from Belgium and a hike up a large hill, I called it a night from filming and settled into town with some dinner and rest. What's up, JK Shinners? So we are here in Lisbon, Portugal, exploring the Barrio Alto right now, looking for some lunch because I'm starving. It's like we've hit Portugal at a good time because it's nice and sunny, a little breeze so it's not too hot, and it's always a beautiful town to look at when it's sunny like this. Now, I'm not looking for anything in particular, any Portuguese in particular, I'm just looking for some food. I may have found a nice little burger joint here near my hostel, about a five minute walk away. A lot of traveling Americans can attest to this, especially when traveling for an extended period of time, that sometimes you just crave a burger. And this spot is ranked one of the best burgers in Lisbon. Hi guys, so we just got here to South Cultura to do a hamburger. And I got the Salgaderas burger and fries. Just some water man, just to wake up. This burger is great. The cheese is amazing, the meat is amazing, and I love the mayo sauce. Alright, so that was a great burger spot. I definitely would recommend it if you're in the mood for a burger. Really like the meat, really like the cheese, and the mayo sauce was amazing. We're gonna head down the hill a little bit, check out Nike, check out some of the shops and uh, grab some money out the ATM here in Lisbon. If you need to withdraw cash from the ATM machine, you'll notice that the multibanco system they use are the same even if you go to a different bank. In my case, I was only able to withdraw about 260 euros maximum per day. We're in the shopping area of the Chiado district. I just picked up a hoodie. I know it's a little warm, but it's a Justin Timberlake hoodie. It was 50% off. And I've never seen it before and it was pretty cool. Pretty stylish, right down my alley. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna fit in my bags now. Alright, we're here now at Rua Augusta, one of the main shopping halls in Lisbon. It's a closed off street so people can walk around here and check out the shops. They got Pull and Bear, Bershka, 
and a bunch of other places. With every visit to Lisbon, a walk down Rua Augusta is a must, especially for avid shoppers like myself. Turn a corner and you will see the beautiful Santa Justa lift on one side and the Castello Sao George on the other. One of my favorite spots to stop by for a beer when in Lisbon is the Duque Brew Pub. Located in the midst of a long stairway climb from the bottom of the city, Duque is a great place to relax and have a brew. Another reason why I'm back in Lisbon is to spend some quality time with my friends Tal and Steve. Uh, 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 I'm with these guys today. Peach it out and peach. Vacation uh, 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 up on street. Vacation. This is a vacation. Vacation. This is a vacation. Vacation. Everybody vacation. Uh, hey. This is a vacation. Uh, yeah. J to the K. K to the shun. Everybody knows I go to the shun. We're headed out. <laughs> We're gonna get some food. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Chicken. <laughs> Three, two, one, and JK should know all I ever wanted. JK should how do we eat a fish? Let's go. Let's go by. It's not open? Go look inside. So, unfortunately, for the 11th time, we've gone to a restaurant that's closed. Because in August, when you're traveling in Europe in August, a lot of locals go on vacations and a lot of these restaurants, these mom and pa restaurants, go to holiday, go to vacation. Tal's a little sad right now, so. A little sad. This was his thing. It's really nice to have uh, two vloggers around and not just me, so. Yeah. We're vlogging yeah, out here. We're vlogging it off. We're all gonna say the same stuff in the same video, but yeah. check it out. Check it out. The three Amik bros are uh, going to another place to eat. This is a different part of Lisbon that I haven't been to yet. So exploring new places in a city that I've already been to is always awesome. New experiences, different types of travel. Rato is more of a local neighborhood in Lisbon where you can find these amazing value half lunch plate deals on Portuguese food. We're over in the Rato neighborhood. I hope I'm saying it right. Rato Tui. Ratatouille? Ratatouille, baby. Yeah, yeah. We're getting some of that Alright guys, so we just got to this spot called Perello do Ratu. And we're gonna have lunch over here. Tal's choice. What is amazing about these half lunch deals are that the portions they serve are still huge. It's hard to imagine what a full portion lunch would even look like. The only catch to these lunches is that there is a limited menu to order from and you have to stand at the counter and eat. If you sit down, you'll incur the regular service charge of the restaurant. So me, Steve, and Tal are chowing down on carne de porco a portuguesa, stroganoff de vitela, and picanha a brasileira. And they're all under seven euro and huge portions and a flavor explosion. Oh good. This one's got pineapple. They got yeah, ananas. So yeah, we're just gonna grub and fill ourselves up. For you to get this uh, mini pratos, uh, you have to stand up and eat it standing up instead of sitting down. I think it's like a two or three euro difference if you're getting serviced on a in a table. So we tried to sit at a table first and they told us it was more expensive. So be aware of that, but it's a cool experience sitting down by the counter, by the kitchen, and just seeing all the movement. And this is a huge, it, they call it a mini Prato, but it's not a mini, it's, it's huge. One of these plates alone would fill me, so I don't know what a regular plate would be. This is incredible. I, I'm loving it. I, I wanna see how a regular plate looks like. It must be like jumbo sized. And me and these guys are chowing down and um, yeah, we definitely recommend this place. Pasteleria Perolo do Rato. 21 euro for three people. And like, I'm full. I'm totally full right now. That was an amazing deal. And they're super, super nice. The service here was awesome. And the food, 
This was fantastic. I cannot recommend enough. Go check out Tal's channel because he's gonna have a really nice food guide to this. Come on out, baby. And he's a lot more detailed than I am because I just say, ooh, good, it's good, it tastes good. Hey, it tastes good, huh? It tastes My good. name is JK, should I like to eat a little bit of food, huh? Hey, Steve, what do you think? It tastes good. Mmm, magnifique, mm. I love it. <laughs> magnifique, I love it. Bon appetit. One of the many things I love about Lisbon are these pastelarias and bakeries around town. If you haven't tried a pastel de nata yet, it's heavenly and a must try. Check out my past Lisbon video on a trip with my dad, where we go to try pastel de Belém, the city's most popular custard tarts. So I'm the only lone active vlogger for dinner tonight. Uh, you know, we don't need to vlog everything. Yeah, he's vlogging it out. We will vlog it out. We're uh, having sushi because we needed to change. They're tired of topless. Yeah, and, uh, we did too much of that European food. We gotta change it up a bit. Thank you. I got them. Sushi it is. Right next to our hostel, too. It's like sandwiched in between my hostel and sandwiched in between their hostel. Yeah, buddy. Look at this. Got a whole plate full of a variety of different sushi that I don't even know what it is, but I'm excited to try. We'll eat it 10.90. Yeah. So it's all you can eat sushi for 10.90. For me, when I have been traveling for so long, there has to be a variety in what I eat. If I'm eating that particular country's food every single meal, I tend to not enjoy it as much. Alright guys, so we're back here in Lisbon. We're about to leave, we're going to Porto pretty soon, but I wanted to get my steak sandwich at Ramiro's and uh, see if my boy Nuno is there serving us. Nuno! What up? I don't know who Nuno is. You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. I swear to God, the city. September. Well, me and Tal just walked here for no reason <laughs> because Ramiro is closed till September 5th. And Everything is closed in Lisboa. It's all closed. It's August 21st today. I'm really sad right now. No new no for me. Oh my God. This part of the city, I really Cool love. looking part of town. <laughs> Me and Tal just climbed up like a shit ton of stairs. It's hot out here. It's hot. We need a new shirt. We're almost at a hostel. We're off to Porto. Let's get it.